We're going to talk about food poisoning today. Uh, what do you do at home when you have your, your family or your kid? I had a mom in the other day, she's like, I poisoned my family. You know, we've all had that uh, happen at times, um, or you went out and ate somewhere and, you know, it just didn't go well, you know, where you might have it coming up one side, one end or going out the other end or coming out both ends. Yeah, that's no fun. So what do you do? What we like to have at home is a little pumpkin. Um, a lot of people will use this with like their pets and stuff and then they forget it helps them. So just some nice cooked white rice um, with some pumpkin mixed together. It can be really nice to kind of slow things down if we need to. The biggest danger we have when we have food poisoning is we want to get it out, but we also don't want to get dehydrated. Foods to eat are, you know, broths. So making like a vegetable, like a green vegetable with potatoes and carrots, um, and you can have meat if you want to, um, with uh, some pink salt or sea salt in it is a really nice broth base to stay hydrated. For the carrots and the potatoes, we want to have the skins involved because right in underneath the skins and part of the skins, we have lots of potassium. Uh, another thing you can have at home is something like this. This is a product called Hydrate. There's lots of products like this out there, um, but it's more of a natural form of Gatorade or Powerade without all the junk in it. Um, the Gatorades and that, they actually have stuff in it that can mess with your digestion. So why not use a product that doesn't? Um, so this is an example of one too that you can use to stay hydrated. Well, there's lots of good probiotics out there. Most of them would be helpful. Um, one of my favorites is Saccharomyces boulardii. Um, and there's a lot, you can get this through a lot of different companies. This is a probiotic strain, a single strain, that attaches to stuff that's not, not supposed to be in your digestive tract and helps clear it out. So it doesn't matter if you have yeast infection or bacteria that aren't supposed to be there or whatever, this is, this is a nice one to have at home. This is a nice one to use when you're on antibiotics. It helps uh, keep your gut flora going without reducing the use of the, the effectiveness of the antibiotic. So a really nice one to have at home. A good one is like Primal Defense. It's just a nice, good, comprehensive uh, probiotic. If it gets too bad, um, if you're getting wiped out because you're getting too dehydrated, we want to get help. So that's where infusion therapy can be helpful too. Um, there's what we call a, a basic Myers cocktail um, nutrient infusion that most infusion places will do. And you can always add some vitamin C to that if you need to. Um, but that's another way to get bounced back quick when you get dehydrated. Challenging sometimes to tell, hey, am I getting the flu? or do I have food poisoning? The nice thing is you can kind of treat them similarly in that we want to stay hydrated and we want to you know, not just lay in bed all the time and, and we want to make sure that we need, our body gets out what it needs to do without dehydrating completely. It, food poisoning ha tends to happen certain times after you eat. So you will either have a problem 20 minutes after eating, two hours after eating, four hours after eating, 24 hours after eating. Those are the most common food, food po times of uh, food poisoning.